Hello everyone, today we are going to discuss how to create a document setup for our printed business card. So go to file and click on new. This video is very important to understand how to create a document setup. Firstly add a name of the document. I am adding horizontal business card. The next one is profile. By default it is set to print because illustrator assuming that this document of which we are creating setup is going to be print. Look here below that the color mode is CMYK. This is very important that if you are designing any document which you have to print later on, printer will understand this color mode very well. And the PPI is 300 pixels per inches. Go back to the profile. If I choose the web option, see the difference in advanced setting. As I click on web, the color is changed to RGB and PPI to 72 pixels per inches. So if you are creating any document or any design which will be displayed on web or any screen, then choose the RGB color and if you are going to design any document uh, to get printed then you must have to choose the CMYK color mode. Number of artboards you can say same like as pages. How many pages you want to create it's totally up to you. I will add two artboards for business card because we are using a two sided business card. One artboard is for front side and the second artboard will be for the back side. Spacing is the space between two artboards. You can adjust it with your own choice. Now there is the option of size. By default the letter size will be here. We can add the custom size as well. The next is units. If you are designing a graphic for web then choose the pixels. Or if you are going to design any business card, letterhead which have to be printed then choose the inches. Now you can see the width and height is changed into inches. The standard size of a business card is 3.5 inches wider and 2 inches tall. This size is used almost in all countries. If you are going to create any custom design, you can change the size. The orientation will be horizontal. If I click on vertical option, you can see the height is changed into 3.5 inches and width is changed into 2 inches. For now, I am designing horizontal business card, so I will choose the horizontal option. Next is blade, which is very important. Blade is the area which will be outside from the trim line. If I click on the top arrow, default bleed of 0.125 inches will be added. This is 8th of an inch. You can customize it but 0.125 inches from the top, bottom, left and right is used almost 90% of the time for all printers. Keep an eye on the color mode that it must be CMYK. Now our document setup is ready, create document. You can see there are two artboards. If I am zooming in a little bit, here is the red line which is called bleed. This is exactly eighth of an inch. These are the edges which we call the trim line. Our background color or images must be extended or spreading till the bleed lines because when our card will be cut out from the trim line, you don't have any unnecessary gaps or misprinting after the trimming is completed. Now we will create a safe zone area that is another eighth of an inch inside the business card in which our text and important information will be printed. Create a rectangle. Go to transform option. We will add width and height here. Width of the card was 3.5 inches. If we minus eighth of inch, there will be 3.25 inches. Height was 2 inches. After reducing the eighth of inch, there will be 1.75 inch. Now adjust it in the center with the help of the align tool vertically and horizontally. You can see the safe zone area which will contain our text. 
or other sensitive information we will spread or extend our background color till the bleed area so when our card will be cut out from the trim line there should be no unnecessary gap of colors between the card and the trim line and our color will be perfectly extended till the edges copy this rectangle for the second artboard go to the second one and paste it with Ctrl plus Shift plus V. This is the shortcut to place it in the center. Now we will turn this rectangle into a guide. Select this rectangle, go to View, select Make Guides, short key is Ctrl plus 5. Our document setup for designing a business card is complete. I hope you will like this video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.